will learn about blood vascular system of UNIO or circulatory system of UNIO. Circulatory system in the case of UNIO is open type. Open type means the blood flows through the sinuses or the cavity which is present in the body. Because these individuals lack capillaries or minute blood vessels. So because of that blood flows through the sinuses or the cavity which is present in the body. The blood vascular system in the case of UNIO mainly consisting of five parts that is blood, heart, artery, sinuses and veins. We will discuss it one by one. First one is blood. Blood in the case of UNIO mainly made up of three components that is plasma, hemocyanin and leukocytes. Plasma is the main component of blood and it is colorless in nature and this plasma consisting of hemocyanin and leukocytes. Hemocyanin is a respiratory pigment in the case of UNIO and this hemocyanin consisting of copper pigment and because of this copper it imparts faint blue coloration to the blood. Apart from that the plasma also consisting of numerous amoeboid cells or leukocytes. So both granular and agranular type of leukocyte is present in the case of UNIO. The main function of blood is to transport the nutrients and oxygen to each and every cells of the body and to collect nitrogenous waste and carbon dioxide from the cell. So that is regarding the first component blood. Next one is heart. Heart in the case of UNIO is a highly muscular organ. It is present onto the dorsal surface of the body just above the visceral mass. The heart is enclosed in a sac-like structure called as a pericardium. This pericardium encloses a cavity known as a pericardial cavity. This pericardial cavity have a fluid known as a pericardial fluid. So inside that the heart is present. The heart of the union is three chamber that is two auricle and one ventricle. So two auricle and one ventricle forms a heart of the union. The auricle is present ventral to the ventricle and the auricle as you can see in this diagram it is a triangular thin walled highly distensible structure which is present ventral to ventricle. The broad base of the auricle joins with the wall of the pericardium and dorsally this auricle opens into ventricle. The auricle opens into ventricle by an opening known as auriculoventricular aperture. Auriculoventricular aperture. So this auriculoventricular aperture is guarded by valve and this valve helps in the unidirectional flow of the blood from auricle to ventricle but not ventricle to auricle. So through this aperture blood flow from auricle to ventricle. The ventricle is a single chamber and it is a thick walled highly muscular contractile structure and it receives the blood from auricle. So ventricle and auricle together form heart of the union. The heart of the UNIO beats of about 20 to 100 times per minute. So that is regarding the second part heart. Next one is arteries. Arteries in the case of UNIO it originates from ventricle. Ventricle pumps and it supplies the blood to anterior and posterior part of the body mainly via two artery that is anterior artery and posterior artery. We will discuss it one by one. First one is anterior artery. As the name indicates anterior artery supplies the blood to anterior portion of the body and this anterior artery present just above the intestine. Anterior artery originates from the ventricle and it, as it moves further it mainly gives rise to three branches and they are anterior pineal artery Pedal artery and visceral artery. As the name indicates, anterior pineal artery it supplies to pallium or mantle part which is present at the anterior portion of the body. Pedal artery it supplies to foot region of the body. Visceral artery it supplies to different visceral organ. 
Further, this visceral artery gives rise to mainly four branches that is gastric artery, hepatic artery, intestinal artery and the genital artery. As the name indicates, this gastric artery supplies to stomach, hepatic artery supplies to liver or digestive gland, intestinal artery supplies to intestine part and genital artery or gonadal artery supplies to gonads of the junio. So that is regarding the different branches of the anterior aorta which supplies to the different parts which is present in the anterior region. Next is posterior aorta. So posterior aorta supplies the blood from the ventricle to the different regions which is present in the posterior part of the body. Posterior aorta gives rise to many branches and it supplies the blood to rectum which is a part of the alimentary canal and to the pallium or the mantle which is present at the posterior portion of the body. So that is regarding the different artery which supplies the blood to different parts of the body. Next one is sinus. As I already told, the sinuses are the cavity or the irregular spaces and it is present at the extreme end of the arteries. You know that aorta branches out into different arteries and these arteries further divide to form a small blood vessels to supply different parts of the body. So these blood vessels which is formed from the artery Instead of forming a capillary, it forms these irregular spaces or the cavities which is known as sinus. So these blood vessels which is formed from the arteries, it empties blood into this sinus or the cavity. Later, the blood from these sinuses, it will be directly poured into veins. That is regarding the fourth part, sinus. Next one is veins. Veins are the one which collects the venous blood from the different parts of the body. The venous blood from different visceral organs will be collected by smaller veins like gastric vein which collects the venous blood from the stomach, hepatic vein which collects the venous blood from the liver or the gastric gland, intestinal vein which collects the venous blood from the intestine and genital vein which collects the venous blood from the gonads. So all these veins join together to form a visceral vein. Later, the pedal vein collects the venous blood from the foot region. So this visceral vein joins with the pedal vein to form a vena cava. This vena cava moves towards the posterior portion and it supplies the blood to kidney through the efferent renal vein. So afferent renal vein is the one which supplies the blood to the kidney. In the kidney, the nitrogenous waste will be produced or it will be removed from the blood. And this blood later collected by the efferent renal vein. And this efferent renal vein now joins together to form a afferent tenedial vein which supplies the blood to tenedia or the gill. In the tenedia or the gill, the oxygenation process takes place because it is a venous blood or deoxygenated blood and it is in the gill region where the oxygenation process takes place. So after oxygenation process, the blood will be collected back by efferent tenedial vein and it is this efferent tenedial vein which pours this blood into auricle of the heart. So that is how exactly the oxygenated blood will be pumped back to the auricle. Later, there is a one more vein known as posterior pallial vein which is present in the pallium. So, posterior pallial artery supplies the blood to the pallium region where there is an oxygenation process and this oxygenated blood will be supplied back to the auricle via posterior pallial vein. So that is regarding the different veins which collects the venous blood from the different part of the body and after oxygenation it will be conveyed to the auricle of the heart. Next we will discuss regarding the course of blood circulation. In the case of unio, heart of the unio pumps the blood to different parts of the body mainly via two artery that is anterior aorta and posterior aorta. It originates from the ventricle. So ventricle pumps the blood mainly via anterior and posterior aorta. Posterior aorta mainly supplies to the pallium part of the body. So where the oxygenation process takes place and this oxygenated blood will be conveyed to the heart or the auricle via posterior pallial vein. 
Then from the anterior aorta, the ventricle pumps the blood to the anterior portion of the body where the venous blood will be produced. This produced venous blood mainly collected by different veins like pedal veins and the visceral veins. So they join together to form a vena cava. This vena cava supplies a deoxygenated blood to kidney via afferent renal vein. So where nitrogenous waste will be removed from the blood. Later, this blood will be collected back by efferent renal vein and it will be conveyed to gill via afferent tenedial vein. In the tenedia or the gill, the oxygenation process takes place. So, the oxygenated blood in the gill, it will be collected by efferent tenedial vein. So, it is this efferent tenedial vein which supplies the oxygenated blood from gill to auricle. So, that is how the blood will be circulated in the body of a unio. So that is regarding the circulatory system or blood vascular system of Unio. Thank you.